In this video, I'll be going through what you can do if you're getting a little bit frustrated with the Uroi wallet. There's an alternative and a way to import your Uroi wallet into this alternative called CC Vault. This is all in preparation for the Sunday Swap Dex launch. CC Vault is supported, NAMI Wallet is supported. I've done a lot of videos on NAMI Wallet and CC Vault does need some attention now. Unfortunately, at launch, Uroi isn't supported. It will eventually, and I'll show you that in this video. But until then, we can only use NAMI and CC Vault. So let's get into this video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I'm Peter Buey. Give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. It helps, you know, do, do what you need to do. I'll be going through how you can import your Uroi wallet over to CC Vault. So if you're using Uroi already, or even if you're using Daedalus or Adalite and you want to move to another, another wallet, you can. And I'll be doing that into CC Vault. They made that progress uh, process really, really easy. So let's get into this. Now, everyone, <laughs> majority of people are using Uroi. It has the dominant market share of any wallet out there, but if you're like me and you've been using your Roy and you've been clicking on that extension and you're just waiting thing, waiting for things to load, you have to understand that they do hold the majority of the network. They support quite a few wallets. I think it was around 60, 70% of the market share of all wallet users. That is diminishing a little bit at the moment because of the synchronization issues that they're having. But as you can see, this wallet is taking forever to load. And the whole purpose of a light wallet is that it is light, quick, easy. You don't need to worry about these long syncing times, especially if you're trying to use it for an NFT launch, you're buying CNFTs or whatever it is. There we go, so it's finally launched. But you can see it's been a while since I've synchronized my wallet and it's gonna take a little while longer to pull all this data in. And then if I'm trying to interact with it and do things, it's quite slow. It's been uh, taking a little while to sync. Anyway, let's go and have a look at CC Vault. This is the wallet that I'm talking about here. You can get to it at ccvault.io. It is a community built wallet. It's got a public GitHub repositories that you can look at, funded through Ideascale, as you can see here in Fund6. And it is very, very cool to actually see this wallet evolve over time. And I'll show you some really cool features of it. But let's set up a wallet for the first time. And what I'm gonna do is actually use the Chrome extension for it. I'm on the Brave browser, but we can use it all the same. I'll click on add there, add extension. Now the links to this is all in the show notes down below. So if you're wondering what, what it is, you can get to it there. I'll put in a little Google search for you as well so you can find it. But there we go. We can see that the CC Vault has been added to my Brave browser here. And I'll just click on that to open it. Great, so now I have CC Vault open, I can now import a wallet into it. So let's click on add wallet from the side. And here we can see we can create a brand new wallet. So if you wanna create a new one, go through the whole seed phrase process, 24 word seed phrase, you can do that at this point. And in this case, we actually wanna restore a wallet. Oh, and I should mention, if you have a hardware wallet like a Ledger Nano, you can pair it here. So if you have one, that's my preferred choice, pair it with a hardware device. But in this case, I'm just gonna click on restore. And depending on how many words are in your seed phrase, please select your combination here. I'm gonna click on 24 in this case and then go through the recovery process. So I'll just be typing in the various words that appear in the bottom area here, and that will get entered into the recovery process. So I'm just gonna skip this bit so you don't see it. Okay, so I've gone through and I've entered in my 24 word seed phrase and I've pressed continue. So now it's telling me that I need to name this wallet. I'm going to call it F2L, F2LB. And this is a delegation program I'm part of for small state pool operators. So that's what I'll call it there. And then I'll enter in a sending password of some sort. Again, I'll, uh, hide, I'll hide this process and so you don't see anything. There we go, I've pressed save. And now my wallet's synchronizing. It will just take a little while to synchronize, but it is so much faster than your Roy. So we don't really need to worry about that too much. And there we go. We can see my data has come in already. So that's incredibly fast compared to your Roy. And it's part of the underlying infrastructure and how things are set up within the wallet itself, which makes it a lot faster. 
So now that I've pulled in my wallet, so if your existing wallet is already dele delegated to a particular stake pool, all that data will pull in. And you can see here the stake pool that I'm delegated to in, in that uh, current epoch. And you can say, see that I've also delegated to my own stake pool here. So we can see the history, the rewards, and everything around the wallet. So it's exactly what you want for a delegation style wallet. Now, if you're wanting to now delegate to a Sunday swap stake pool, I would suggest using the tool such as Pool Peak, where they have a full list of all the Sunday swap, Sunday swap pools. You can get to it from the side link down here on the left-hand side, Sunday swap. So here we can see all the pools at the moment. Now I always recommend going for the single state pool operators at the moment, but they're getting quite full. You can see here, uh, Blade's already at 102%, so they're oversaturation at the, at the moment. And you can see here, it's uh, quite, quite heavy in terms of how much stake some of these pools have taken in. So I'd be looking at probably now starting to look at some of these other ones in the multi-pool set and just starting from the top and working my way down. Now, it's really important that you do do some research and understand some of these state pool operators, how they operate, but a lot of these people that are working in the in industry have been around for a long time. I know Ada Wolf and Frog, they've been around for a very long time, uh, Blue Cheese Steakhouse. So it, I'd be very comfortable with actually delegating with one of these state pools here. So in this case, I'll be joining Wolf as this example. And I'll just go back to my uh, CC Vault wallet and I'll click on staking. Okay, so now that I have the staking screen open, I can click on the search for a, a pool here with the filter, type in that wolf, which I've copied over just before. And there it is there. So I can see Ada Wolf. Now I can verify that I've got the right pool. I can check the, uh, the pool ID here and match it up with what I'm searching for over here. So let's go to this one, uh, view the details. Okay, so from here I can see the pool ID. So pool one uh, QQQQ X69, and let's go back to CC Vault and check that as well. And I can see that pool one QQQQ X69. Okay, so I've got the right pool here, so this is it. So you notice that the stats and the data might be a little bit off. So this uh, website here, Pool Peak, may be a little bit delayed in its synchronization of the data from the blockchain, whereas CC Vault is a little bit more up to date and accurate. So I'm gonna now click delegate here, and it will just go through this process of actually delegating. So it's letting me know that I'm delegating to Ada Wolf at the moment. I'll click in and send in my sending password and sign that transaction. And that should be it. So I'll just wait for that to finish. Oh, all right, it's uh, actually worked. I didn't realize it, it went through. So I'll click on my account here, my account screen. I'll just scroll down and I should see it. There it is there, Ada Wolf. I've delegated to Ada Wolf. And now I'm eligible for those sweet, sweet Sunday swap tokens. All I have to do is wait for that snapshot on the 25th and my balance of my wallet will be included into the reward calculation for the Sunday swap tokens. That's it, quick and easy. But here's a little bonus tip for you, and this is multiple delegation. CC Vault is absolutely fantastic with some of the features that they brought out that the standard wallets that have been around for ages do not have. And this is how it all works. So if I click on account here, I can see that I have two accounts. I have my my uh, wallet that I just delegated to Ada Wolf, but you can see my other account here, account number one, it has no delegation to it. So I'm just gonna activate that one and click on the summary tab. I can see there's no delegation, there's no ADA in it at all. So what I'm gonna do now is click on receive, copy my receiving address, and then I'm gonna switch back to my other account, activate this one and send ADA to it. So I'm just gonna send a little bit of ADA to it so you can see it working and, and demonstrated as it should work. So I'll just click next, add in my sending password, and away it goes. So that will send that uh, little bit of ADA that I've just set over to this other account. And in that other account, I can delegate that to another state pool. So if I wanted to delegate to multiple Sunday swap pools, I could. 
or if I've just left a small single stake pool operator and I still wanted to support them, I can have that separate account, still delegate a little bit of ADA to them so that they're not completely decimated from this Sunday swap migration of ADA. So I can have my wallet in a single wallet with a single seed phrase pointed to multiple stake pools. Real key there, that's really, really important. So I'll just click on account now and let's check on the summary of here. So that's where I've sent it from. So I'm going to switch over to my other wallet here, activate this one. Great. I'll click on summary. Uh, actually, I'll click on staking. I'm assuming I have the ADA in there at the moment. And there we go. All right, cool. This is looking good. So I'll put in my sending password again, sign that transaction, and I'll let that go through. Again, it might take a little while. Transactions to the block happen every 20 seconds, so we'll just have to wait 20 to 40 seconds for this to go through and come back towards us so we can see that it's, it's uh, recorded on the blockchain. All right, fantastic. So I can see that that uh, transfer and the delegation has come through on my wallet now, so the, uh, it's uh, low confirmations at the moment, five confirmations, but it is recorded on the blockchain. So now I should be able to click on account and click on my account screen down here. Oh, there we go. We can see that it's uh, delegated to Ada Oz and it will kick in in Epoch 317 on the 26th of January. But let's click on accounts and have a look here. There we go. So we have one account here, which is delegated to Ada Wolf and another account here delegated to Ada Oz. How cool is that? So if you want to support your small mission-driven state pool, you can. And if you want to delegate and earn those Sunday swap tokens, you can as well, all from the one single wallet. That is absolutely awesome. I love CC Vault. It's a lot faster than your Roy at the moment. It's doing some really cool things in the ecosystem and I absolutely love it. So that's it from me for this video. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. Check out our blog, check out our podcast, check out everything else. If you like our content, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell and you hear more from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.